Hello folks, welcome to our channel, Channel Jose. Today we are wanna share a situation that we're experiencing with our 2010 Toyota Camry. And what's happening is that when we come up to a stop sign or a light and we let the car idle for a little bit, and then we turn on the AC or we put load to the charging system, the battery light comes on, the ABS light comes on, and the traction control uh, light comes on. So once we turn off all those equipments, then the lights just go off and they, they don't go on anymore on the dash until we turn on more equipment. So we're gonna share with you what you can do to troubleshoot this before you start taking it to shops and they start taking money from you. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna turn on our engine and we're gonna let the car idle for a little bit. And then we're gonna turn on the AC, we're gonna turn on the radio, we're gonna turn on the headlights so you can see what happens on the dash. And then we're gonna rip up the engine to show you what happens when all those equipments are working. So with that, we're gonna start first with our turning on our engine. Now that we have our engine running, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start turning on components to show you what's the dash telling us. Right there, we turn on our AC, still nothing, still looks normal. So now we have the ABS and this uh, traction control light coming on, and they come on and off because it's just in the edge. So we're gonna turn on our headlights to force the little uh, battery light to come on. So right now we have the battery light on, the ABS on, and the traction on. So we're gonna do something and see if that those lights go off. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna uh, uh, make our engine work a little bit in a higher RPMs than idle and see if those lights go off. That means that the alternator is gonna put more amperage out and it's gonna make those things go away. As you can see, the RPMs are about 3,000. And now we're gonna let off the uh, gas and drop those RPMs and see if those lights come back on. So now what we see is that the lights come back on as soon as we let the RPMs drop. And as soon as we accelerate, the RPMs go up and those lights go off. So that's, there's, it's saying that a high RPMs, there's amperage or there's power. And when it drops in low idle, there's no power. So we're gonna do something before we start replacing parts. Uh, in idle, the lights are all gone. Everything, just the basic stuff is working. So if we turn on the AC, full blast, the lights start coming on. So now if you're at night and then you need to run your headlights, then, then the light comes on, it's telling you that the battery or your charging system needs to be attended. So when you turn off the headlights and the AC, those lights go away. So the basic stuff can still operate, but what's causing this to do this? So we're gonna do one step to start with before we start taking it to the shop or replace parts. So we're gonna clean our terminal post and terminals uh, so we can plug them back in and see if that's a problem before we start replacing battery or alternator, which are not cheap. So to do this, we're gonna have to disconnect the negative terminal first and then the positive, and we're gonna clean the post on negative and positive side, and then we're gonna clean the terminals for the wires as well, and then we're gonna connect them back up. So why we tell you to clean your terminals? Well, the reason being is because there's some acid buildup in these areas and it causes these terminals not to be making good contact. So the system is starving of power. So the alternator cannot keep up with the demand because the battery is not actually sending back juice when it's needed. So we're gonna clean the terminals and then put everything back together to see if that problem persists. If once we clean up these terminals, the problem persists, then we have probably a bad alternator. But if that's not a problem and this is a problem, you save hundreds of dollars before you start getting to that guy. So this is the cheapest repair that you can do in this scenario. You always start with your terminals, clean them up. So for this task, we'll be using a terminal cleaner. 
wire brush cleaner and this is for the cable side and this is for the battery post and these components are not expensive this can run from for about five dollars and these are very very essential that you should have in your garage for this kind of scenario to clean the battery terminals so now we compare this dirty post on the battery to a clean one so now we clean that one out so we can start cleaning the wires as well So now that we clean the terminals or the post on the battery, we clean the terminals and the wires and then uh, we want to clean in there as well. So when these wires sit on the battery, they make good contact. So once we clean those out, we put them back and then try out if that was a problem. So here we have our wire on the negative clean and we still got that positive to clean. Now we got our positive cable clean, so we put it back on. Sequence to plug in our battery is going to be positive first and then negative. So now that we have our terminals tied down, co connected and tightened down, we're going to try to start our car back up and see if it starts. If not, we have an external battery to, to give it some power, and then we're going to try to replicate the same problem we had in the past. So our car didn't want to start, we're going to put an external battery now. So now we have our engine running. Uh, we disconnected the battery, cleaned the terminals, put everything back together. So now we have clean terminals, and uh, once we try to turn on our car, it wouldn't start because we have to uh, give it some uh, extra juice from an external battery. So now that the engine is running, we're going to go inside the cab and do the same thing that we were doing earlier and see if that problem persists. So now that we have the car running, we're going to put some load into it. So we're going to turn on our AC or headlights and see if those lights still come back on because if the terminals by being clean that problem went away then we have saved a lot of money Well, folks, we got our high beams, headlights on, or full blast on the AC, and the lights are not on. So just by cleaning those terminals, we avoided on buying an alternator, which wasn't the problem. It's just dirty terminals on the battery. So now we have our car running. We run all the systems. We put load into this charging system, and it's back to normal. And all we did, it was just, we just cleaned those terminals on that battery. So now with fresh terminals, is making a good contact. So when that power is needed, the battery is going to give power to the system while the alternator starts producing more power. So this, so before you start buying an alternator on a battery or a battery and spend a lot of money or even taking it to a shop, clean those terminals. And once you put them back, try and see if that was a problem. Because sometimes it could be just a simple cleaning that can help you save a lot of money and that way you can start learning a little bit about your car. And with that said, folks, for our friends who are watching our video, haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, share it, and we'll see you soon with more videos here in the canal, your channel, Jose.